Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. And tonight, we've got the Indiana Pacers playing against the New Jersey Nets. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Coach Mike Fratello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. Looking at this matchup, Mike, the clash of the big man should be especially exciting. I'm sure we're going to see these big guys bring their A game tonight. Here's Hervey. And the game against Sacramento, very impressive. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. Pass to Olsen. Kicks it out to Bailey. Hands it from downtown. Well, he's consistent from out there, especially when you give him room. Looking at the last game for the Indiana Pacers, it was a loss to the Bulls. Lucas looking for an opening. To the right side. Shot clock at five. Here's Arthur. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. He has a particular set of skills, and they're very fun to watch. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Olsen, he's guarded by Arthur, and the shot goes down. And you know, the ability to knock down the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Absolutely. Draw them away from the rim where their size becomes a hindrance. Here's Abdul Wahed. A special move before the shot. Now the Pacers with it. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets. That one was played in the metal ends. It was a close one the last time these teams met. You gotta wonder what they could have done if it wasn't for their foul trouble. It may have been a different result. Yeah, some of their starters had to sit down early, and that kind of ruined the flow of what they were trying to establish. Here is Lucas following the score by Indiana. He kicks to Arthur. pull it in and the shooter had really no airspace to get that shot off that's good deep yeah terrific defense doing a great job contesting without fouling here's Olsen it's deflected here in the first just under two and a half minutes played so far boom he jams it straight down 
Aggressive, confident, and then very explosive. Very. The statement finish. Just one of the things he's known for. And his teammates are loving it. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Rising up to finish the oop. And Clark, you and I sitting here could just see that play developing right before our eyes. Good vision on the pass to put it right on the money. Now here's Lucas. A 20-point game for him in the win against Sacramento. And his passing was just on another level entirely. He was dissecting the defense with his ball movement and getting his guys great looks. On the bases with possession here. Following the bucket by the Nets. Shoots from 12. And the Pacers tack on two more. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Pacers? Drops for Arthur. And both free throws good from Arthur. Free throw shooting is a skill, and this guy absolutely has it. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Oh, what a great finish as he gets pumped on his way up. He'll go to the line and try to check on another. A red hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. Mike, now that we're halfway through the season, what's most important for teams to focus on moving forward? I think it's about hitting your stride at the right time. For the teams in the playoff picture, trying to peak heading into the postseason is so important. Boy, that would seem to be a very hard thing to know, how, how to get your team to peak at the right moment. You always hear of coaches and players talking about the peaks and valleys of the NBA season. Why not peak at the right time? And it's Lucas with the ball for the Nets. Four-point game. Pass to Arthur. Back to Lucas. Four on the shot clock. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Up again. It's good on the putback. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense could react. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Baylor can't get it to go. Nets have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Here's Porter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Nets have gone 2 for 2 in the game at the line. For the Nets. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two First one falls for. Tied up with that one. Pacers have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Olsen, he's started by Arthur. It's good. Nine points in the game so far. Slick move. Coming off the pick and going straight to the hoop. And here are the Nets. Passes to Hervey.
Here's Abdul ahead. No good with the wing jumper. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Brothers. And the shot is good. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. That's trail by four. And here is Arthur. 35 points for him last game against Sacramento. And he got to the line a lot, which was a real game changer, guys. He slowed down the opposition's momentum and made them play to his team's style of play. What a setup. Great dive. I know what a finish. Putting it down with authority. Woo. That's just great teamwork. Plain and simple. And the Pacers call time here. And the layup is good. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the head. Right, they're up top. Baylor defending. Arthur right, with it. He is a solid producer, averaging nearly 22 points a game. Guarded by Porter. Here's Olsen. No good from outside. That's trail by four. Porter passes to Arthur. Here is Lucas. Here is Abdul Wahed. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. And he could have gone straight up with it. But by fading away, this gave him more separation and allowed him security to trade him. Olsen passes to Kevin Gill. It's tipped. Now Arthur. Kicks to Lucas. Back to Arthur. Just five to shoot. Out to the right wing. A three-pointer is right on target. Arthur's got seven. Boy, I sure hope this offense continues to percolate like this because if it does, we could be in for a doozy. Who doesn't like a high-scoring game? Well, now that I think about it, maybe some defensive coaches. And shot opportunity. A nice shot by Kevin Kelly. And the Pacers lead by one. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Here's Arthur. He's got seven. Indiana foul. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Substitution on the court. On defense, the Pacers. Pass to Hervey. Just five on the clock. Here's the floater. Tries again. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Substitution on the court. So the Pacers call timeout, their first of the game. You know, it's not just on the players to change things up. It's up to these coaches to make the right reads as well. It's more than just encouraging or yelling at them when needed. There's a lot of strategy that goes into this game. Now 
Indiana's gone just one of four from three point range here in the first. 17 foot shot on the way, and they pick up two. Well, if you want the mid range, it's normally there. Now here's Arthur, defended by Oakland. Goes up from the top of the key, and it falls over the rim and in. Arthur's got nine. Here is Oakley. 14 points from him the last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And also, how about the passing display we saw from him? He was just outstanding at finding ways to shred the defense to pieces. That's trail by three. Arthur passes to Olsen. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Side Oakley. Lots of room. And again, it's Indiana. Well, New Jersey shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. To the wing right side. Here's Abdul ahead, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Clearly, he got it, no doubt. Good job by the officials. Yes, we are giving credit to the officials. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. New Jersey making a switch here. Gaines is checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Outside Oakley, shoots over Arthur, and it's wide right, it's off the rim. Nets trail by three. Good ball movement here by New Jersey. Here's Abdul Wahed, and down it goes, jamming that one home. You talk about taking flight. That's exactly what he did there, and he made it look easy. Outside Oakley. To the wing on the left. Here's Brady. It's rebounded by Johnson Odom. New Jersey is gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Abdul Wahed. Another one falls for New Jersey. He's been a reliable offensive option, currently maintaining an impressive field goal percentage in this game. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here is Oakley. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. To the left side wing. Shoots. Indiana again. Missing. Burnett's with the lead. The dish to Arthur. Pass to Jackson Odom. Abdul Wahid covered by Morris. And the shot goes in. Great work on the interior. Pounding the ball in close and going up with confidence. They want to break this scoring drop, Mike. They've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Brady passes to Oakland. Stop the run. New Jersey with the rebound. Go Trigello, they've been effective on the offensive end in this one. Yeah, they've created good looks and made the most of them. Here's Abdul Wahed. The basket is good. The assist from Gaines. Now it's a five-point Nets lead. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Here's Oakley. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Oakley's got six. Oakley's gone three for five from the field. 
Now here's Arthur. He's got nine. To the inside. It's stolen by Morris. And so lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Nets lead by three. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. NBA action, a great tradition, Christmas Day basketball, here on 2K Sports. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for New Jersey. They set the pick. Out left to the wing. Cummings' shot is good. Cummings got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Pacers. The defense was wanting, and he gave it to him. Here's Johnson Odom. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Now here's Lucas. He's tightly guarded. Got a piece of it. Over to the wing. Here's Herbie. Again, the Nets for two. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. Indiana trailing here. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. I see him. Brothers. Got a piece of it. Outside, Porter. Pass to Johnson Odom. There's the pass to Lucas. Shot clock at six. Pass to Johnson Odom. And the Nets, another three. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. That's how you set someone up for success. Here's Brady. 27-point outing in the last game against the Bulls in Chicago. Second personal foul, first team foul. Indiana shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Number 22, taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. That's leading by four. And here is Lucas. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Herbie. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And the body control guided it in despite the contact. That's really well done. Didn't give up on the play. Way to stay with him. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. In their last game, he actually made these shots look routine. Yeah, he was really Good making shot. it hurt every time he got sent to the line in that one. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Shoots a fader. Porter pulls it in. He tried to get space with the fadeaway, but it might have just disrupted his shot even more. And yes, it's good. What a power surge by these guys. They can't miss. Literally, what a stretch.
The Nets have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. One shot. One misses. Pacers trail by nine. Out to the right wing. And here in the second quarter of action with a hit under two and a half minutes played so far. His hot streak continues night after night, making his presence felt offensively. Lucas with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That's tipped. Here's Cummings. It's deflected. Porter kicks to Johnson Odo. Now here's Lucas. He's guarded closely. Six to shoot. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. Good activity there, breaking things up. Love the activity defensively. And he wanted to steal it, but still making an impact for his team. Baylor, he's checked in for the Pacers. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Nets. Their biggest lead of the game was not. And their journey is just getting started. That'll be the second of seven straight on the road. Brothers, that one, no good. And the Nets now go the other way. Here's Hervey. He has five. Now Lucas. Pass to Hervey. Shooting over Cummings. That misses off the back. Pacers trail by six. Outside Baylor. The rebound by Hervey. That's normally one of his spots. It was a quality look. Shame to see it go to waste. Here's Johnson Odom. His last outing, he had eight points. Now here's Lucas. There's the pick. Hooked away. Olsen defended by Lucas. Sinks that one from a post. Great possession there. He ends up with a look right at the rim. Fourth rebound in this one. Dishes to Lucas. Passes it to Hervey. Nets passing it around. <laughs> to the right side. The pass to Olsen. And here is Cummings. He's coming off a 16-point game against Chicago. Pocket four. Eight feet away, it's tipped, and he recovers it, and he gets it back. And out of bounds as New Jersey gains possession. Nets leading by four. Here's Johnson Odom. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Lucas, the pass to Porter, and finished off by Porter. The lead pass, executing one, takes a high basketball IQ. He locks up the alley -oop pass, hammers the alley-oop through. The chemistry is so obvious on these alley-oops. 
fantastic sequence there. Plays like that, Clark, bring a team closer together. For sure. Yeah, I like when guys take initiative and go after chances like this. Olsen, defended by Lucas. The eight-footer. And too long on the shot. And he knows he's got to convert in these situations. No excuse given the limited defense on him. Pacers trail by four. To the left wing. The baseline J. Again in the end. He likes to operate in that mid-range area. Very comfortable there. He can shoot over defenders. That's one of his advantages. Pass to Hervey. Shooting over Cummings. And Hervey gets it to go. Hervey's got seven points. He knew what he wanted to do there. He uses his height to get a clean look over the smaller defender. Pass to Baylor. Rebounded by the Nets. Porter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Lucas with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's good for two. And the Nets lead by six. And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pit allows him to get free and go right to the rim. Olsen defended by Lucas. Here's Olsen. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. I have no idea how he made it. Somehow powering through the foul and converted. Flexing on the D a little there. Let's see if he's able to come through with the strike. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. What's up? Nets leading by three. Passes a duel. So. Abdul Wahed covered by Morris. The pass duels. Fires top of the key. Nice spin off the left rim and in. 24 points for him. He's been a big factor here in the first half. Scoring in bunches. Olsen passes to Kevin Gill. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. You got to know the scouting report on this guy. I mean, you cannot allow him to establish position in there. Yeah, and if you do, you're going to have to show more fight than that. Lackluster effort there. Now here's Arthur. He's got nine. And it's Kevin Gilly with the rebound. Kevin Gilly's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Puts it up from 15. And the powerful one-handed slam. And this is what big guys like him should do. Using his height to punish the D inside. The Nets have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter. Well above the 50% mark from the field. Here's Hervey. And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. Has to also. Here's Abdul Wahed. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Nothing like setting someone up. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. Outside Oakley. Let's it go from 11. Here's Baylor. Can't tie it up as that one misses. That's leading by three. Over to the left wing. Here's Herbie. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Up top, Oakley. Six points for him. Out to the wing. Pulls it up. And it comes off the front of the rim. New Jersey has gone one to two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. As 
to Herbie. Out to the right wing. Good ball movement here by New Jersey. Here's Arthur. Cranes the three-pointer. And now it's an eight-point Nets lead. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. A minute 20 left in the first half of basketball. Here's Hervey. He's got 11. They set the pick. Six on the shot clock. It's stolen by Morris. This is a duel. And the pass to Oakley. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. That's leading by six. Arthur passes to Hervey. To the middle. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Fundamentally sound right there. Threw it down with two hands. Yep, sweet dunk for him. Beyond the aesthetics, a big two points. Here's Olsen. Rebound by Gaines. New Jersey has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Nice shot by Arthur. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Olsen, he's guarded by Arthur. Olsen passes to Kevin Gill. Got a hand on it. Here's Hervey. 13 points in the game. They set the screen. And so we wrap up the first half. New Jersey on top, up 11. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Pacers trail by 11. Olsen, he's guarded by Arthur. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. up to all ahead and he could not get that one to go out of contact and he'll go to the line for two that was an easy call on that shot refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times these are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game take a break take a break two shots that one is off Second free throw. Pacers trail by 10. There's a good screen. Driving inside. Kevin Gelly lets it go from the baseline and nails it. Kevin Gelly's got 10 points. Great ball movement. Making that defense work. Arthur with the bounce pass. Pass to Hervey. From 13, and the jumper falls for him. He has 29. Nothing wrong with the mid-range, Jay, to keep padding to the lead. And they gave him a bit too much space on that chance. Need to tighten up the D. Here's Kevin Gill. He's got 10. Brothers played in with a nice touch off the glass. 
He's got eight. Working his way inside for a high percentage look there. Nicely done. A bumpy start to a new half for this D, though. They kind of gave that up. Here's Arthur. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And the Nets lead by 10. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. There's the lob to the hoop. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. The 19-foot shot. The Pacers pull it in. Robin Gelly's got his seventh lead on here tonight. Olsen, he's guarded by Arthur. Passes to Olsen. Cummings with the ball. Misses the jumper. Kicks it to Arthur. Pass to Hervey. Back to Arthur. Five on the clock. Inside. Intercepted. Now the Pacers moving it up. To the left side wing. Now coming. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Now here's Lucas. And there's the pass to Arthur. Let's the three fly. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. Huge breakdown defensively. You can't leave him open. He's too good from deep. Baylor passes to Kevin Gill. Porter with the steal. He dishes it to Arthur. Pass to Hervey. Passes it to Lucas. Lock at six. Here is Abdul Wahed. It's rebounded by Indiana. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. Can they get it? Brothers. It's deflected. And here is Lucas. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. He kicks to Porter. Here's Abdul Wahed, and it's Kevin Gelly with the rebound. Kevin Gelly's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Brothers, guarded by Porter. Good work there as it goes. Ten points for him. Close range, high percentage looks will never go out of style. That's just strong, fundamental basketball. Arthur passes to Lucas. Feeds it to Arthur. Here's a goal ahead and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's what we call a good foul. Make them earn it at the line. It might not be pretty, but that's the right play in that situation. He saved the layup with that foul. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for New Jersey. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Pacers trail by 13. Side Baylor. Pass to Cummings. Here's Brady. 
He's still scoreless so far in this one. Four on the clock. Yes, that goes in. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his team. Right. That's leading by 11. Arthur kicks to Johnson Odom. Here's Abdul Wahed. Got a hand on it. Here's Cummings. And it's blocked. They retain possession. That cuts the lead to single digits. He's got 15. Arthur with it. He's got 20. There's the screen. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Arthur's got 22. Releases from 15. Good on the shot. Contributing heavily, doing his part on the offensive end. He's got a great basketball IQ. He knows what'll get his team back in it. Now here's Arthur. And two points for him. Here's Abdul Wahed. It's tipped. Now the pass to Lucas. Another shot. Here's Brady. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And it's off from three-point range. New Jersey leading by eight. Pass to Lucas. Back to Arthur. Nice jumper from the free throw line. Arthur's got nine points here in the second half. Indiana's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's the screen. Baylor, that's good. He got the space he needed, and with his shot, that's going in more often than not. Now Lucas, one of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. Arthur inside. Baylor defending. Nice shot by Arthur. The defense was certainly a little tardy in reacting to the step back there. Outside Baylor. A fadeaway. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Now here's Lucas. Here's Abdul Wahed. Again, the Nets for two. You see why they lean on him night in and night out. Pacers trail by 11. And here is coming. Pass to Baylor. Six on the shot clock. Over Arthur. Misses off the right eye. And it's Lucas with the ball for the New Jersey Nets. Pass to Arthur. Back to Lucas. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Nets lead by 13. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprise they left. Oakley comes in for Baylor. The Nets making a switch here. Cummings passes to Oakley. Left to the wing. Six to shoot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Number 40. Second personal foul. First team foul. Indiana shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Number 22. 
at the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. Arthur with it. 26 points for him. Here's the pass to Olsen. Here's Johnson Odom. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Kicks it to Arthur. Softly drops in the floater. Arthur's got the lead up to 13 now for the Nets. Brilliant use of the floater. Measuring it to perfection and dropping it in with ease. And another great look at the 2K drive. That's a little bit of icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. For Indiana, they've gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. To the wing on the left, wide open. That one goes. Count it. Oakley's got 10 points in the game. And there's a minute 45 left here in the third quarter. Abdul Wahed, and again, it's New Jersey converting. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Indiana moving it around. Here's Brady. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Assist goes to 106 left in the third quarter. to Arthur. Clock at four. Olsen. And the shot is long. Pacers trail by 11. Outside Oakley. Out left of the wing. From 20 feet out. It doesn't go for him. And it's New Jersey the other way. Here's Arthur, and he has 28 points for the game. And Morris comes over to help. Here's Johnson Odom. A second chance effort, and the layup is good. And the Nets lead by 13. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second chance looks. Outside Oakley. And the layup's good off the glass. 12 points for him. Really insisting on getting to the rim, even against great opposition. Sometimes willpower is better than manpower. He just wanted it. And so it's New Jersey holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Back to the action in just a minute. There have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. New Jersey leading by 11. Now Lucas. 
Passes it to Hervey. Now here's Lucas from 12 feet out. Good work defensively by Morris. Always going up for the LU here. An emphatic LU champ. That's a great way to energize your team. Right? I mean, the timing and the chemistry on display with that well-orchestrated LU. And looking to even up the score. They're hoping that's the start of the run. Here's Hervey. The Pacers making the shot. They get a hand on it. Just five to shoot. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. The Pacers making a switch here. Pacers trail by nine. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Pass to Brady. To the inside. And he finishes nicely on the way. He's got 19. Boy, how much fun has this game been? Come on, man. Each side putting on an offensive clinic. I have really enjoyed it. It's incredible that they're still playing at this level. The pass to Lucas. Shot clock at six. It goes straight through with the swish. And the Nets lead by nine. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through. From 11 feet away, and there are the Pacers with another bucket. Well, it plays with such an edge. His style is tenacious. Pass to Hervey. the basket officials blowing the whistle so a chance at the line for one more it's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand and if you were hitting like he is in this one you would be too his efficiency has done a lot for them one shot Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Olsen. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Leaving no margin for error. That was a terrific finish. Clark, this is what happens when you refuse to box them out. Yep. You have great positioning and even better timing. Superb work on the offensive glass. So it's New Jersey now, following the score by Indiana. Here's Hervey, plays it up and banks it in. You know, I don't care what your lead is or how many points you're up. I think you should always be looking to add to it. Stay aggressive. Yeah, aggressive move right at the rim. Driving another nail into that corner. A shake. And the Pacers tack on two more. And he's trying to carry this offense, but he can't do it alone. His guys need to help him. And here's Lucas. Passes it to Hervey. Back to Lucas. Six to shoot. Pass to Gaines. From deep three-point range. And the Nets, another three. Three points. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. From 15 feet away, and that one is good. 23 points in the game. Nothing like setting someone up. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. Now here's Lucas. T right on him. The pass to Johnson Odom. Here's Hervey. Again, the Nets for two. Pacers trail by 11. Throws it up high. It's tipped. Quarter with it. 
Here's Johnson Odom. Porter inside. Shock up two there. Porter's got the lead up to 13 now for New Jersey. Smart approach to this possession. Working the ball inside for a point blank shot at the hoop. Here's Olsen. And the Pacers tack on two more. And it's Lucas with the ball for the Nets. Pass to Johnson Odom. And a fast break now. The Pacers, but three. That's it, and the New Jersey lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Oakland. Great awareness to stop and pop from three. The defense was back, and he smartly took the shot from distance. Gaines takes to Johnson Odo. Pass to Lucas. To the left side wing. Here's Gaines. Off target with his three. The Pacers have gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're eight of nine on field goal attempts in the court. Kevin Gelly passes to Oakland. There's the pick. Brothers. Rocket six. Off target from the wing. Nets leading by eight. Here's Gaines. Can't connect from short range. Indiana's gone 6 of 11 when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. The pass to Olsen. A rebound by the Nets. Herbie's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Gaines. Pacers with the rebound. the three-point bomb. 26 points for him. That's exactly the shot they're looking for. That's the one they wanted. Get it into his hand and let him do his thing. You have to lean on your guys in close games like this. The NBA is a star's lead. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. Hey, let me check in for open. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on what New Jersey's head coach was getting across in the huddle. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now Lucas. Pass to Arthur. To the paint. Olsen, he's guarded by Arthur. Tries the spin move. That's to Kevin Gill. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Personal foul. First team foul. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Pacers. Two shots. Shooting two. No good on that one. And the Pacers call time here. Not a bad time to pump the brakes right here, check in with everybody, and make sure you're speaking in stereo. Could be a chance to adjust the lineup as well. And he sinks the second. Tough miss at this juncture. They're down two baskets right now. Timeout called the Nets. Good timeout right there. It was much needed. Yeah, the other team is clicking right now. The coach wants to try and halt this run.
and here's Hervey. Now here's Lucas. Back to Arthur. Just four to shoot. They need this one. And again, no good by New Jersey. Pacers trail by four. This is it to Kevin Gill. Here's Brady. And the Pacers can't get it to go. New Jersey has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's the pass to Arthur. Down low. Here's Porter. Up and in from the low block. Porter's got four this quarter. Indiana's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Timeout called the Pacers. The Pacers making a change here. Cummings has checked in. both and here are the Pacers now trailing here by eight Olsen he's guarded by Arthur outside Baylor six on the shot clock the 19 foot shot pulls it the basis of our game is the pass, sharing, being a great teammate. Pass to Arthur. On target from 13 feet. Arthur's got 15 points here in the second half. Boy, you love the competitive spirit and instinct going right at the bigger defender. It's required at this level. Overcoming the size and strength of NBA defenders is not easy. Now, here's Baylor. Brothers. And he takes that one up and powers it through. It was the pick setting up that slam. A great team ball. Yeah, everyone on the same page. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. Nets leading by six. They're up top. He kicks to Lucas. To the inside. And then Porter with the chance. Not many players can make a stunning move like that. Yeah, Clark, you're right. You're talking about a very short list. He's a guy that causes excitement. just by walking into the building. So it's the Pacers now. Olsen passes to Cummings. Here's Kevin Gelly, guarded by Porter. And it's Kevin Gelly missing. New Jersey has gone 6 of 11 when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Passes to Hervey. 14 feet away. 
almost, but it rolls out. Pacers trail by eight. The pass to Cummings. Here's Kevin Dillon. From 16 feet away, he can Excellent distribution. With that possession highlighting how important the unselfish selfish is. Timeout called the Nets. They lead by six. 137 left to play in the final quarter. Thirty-seven left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here is Arthur. It's blocked. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Brothers. Rebound New Jersey. Porter's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. From 20 feet out, it's deflected. In order to get back in this one, you'll have to be perfect from here on out. No wiggle room at all. Any mistake or lost position could shut the door on their night. Brothers. It drops. And now they trail by just four. And this is how you capitalize down the stretch. I mean, the coaching staff has got to be pleased with that. And the game isn't over yet, but that was huge. Let's see if they're able to close it out. And an intentional foul right there. <laughs> 44 seconds left to play here on the fourth. And it's blocked. Cummins with the ball. Has doors. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and that's an intentional foul. Yeah, that's a good play. I mean, fouling there in hopes of staying alive in this one. That's the right play. They need every second they can get at this point. Do whatever they can to come back. Free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. And those free throws now make this a two-possession game. Time call here, Indiana. We to talk it over. They're behind by four. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Searching for a fast bucket, then a way to stretch things out by fouling. And then defensively, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picky. Pass to Cummings. Fires for three. New Jersey with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. 15 foul. Shooting for New Jersey. A full way Taking two shots. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. He's able to hit the second one, and that puts them up by five. Timeout called the Pacers. They're trailing by five. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Eight seconds left to play here in the fourth. Passes it to Olsen. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. And so it's New Jersey with the win. 
That's and they've got to feel good about this win, Mike. They worked hard to come away with it. Yeah, it's a testament to their work ethic as well as their coaching. Everyone came together in order to grab this road victory. And they needed everyone to have uh, all hands on deck, didn't they? They sure did. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you later. They go up against the Utah Jam. Along with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sidelines. I think in some teams to become a factor in some of these matchups. Such a blessing during a season. All teams have to deal with injuries to some degree. But that, that is the curve, though, isn't it? Probably more than anything else, dealing with losing to either a prominent guy or a big bench guy. That's why depth of the roster is so important. General managers that understand you're going to have injuries. Can we cover each position with the roster that we put together? The Jazz shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Shooting two. Free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Here's Waters. Really played well against Milwaukee his last outing. Pass to right Foreman. He kicks it to Fields. Here's Waters. Five to shoot. It's right outside. The shot, no good. Here's McDaniel. Guarded by Red, and they'll keep possession. They shoot again. Roach passes to McDaniel. Here's Andrews. First quarter of play, one minute played. Took him no time at all on that one. Plenty of game left, but that, I think, is a good omen for him. I agree. When you hit a mid-range J, it opens the rest of the floor. the strike and good and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender not a high percentage look coach doesn't mind as long as you make it for utah they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter so first quarter just over a minute and a half in pass to Bailey. it's stolen I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. Houston shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Taking two shots. And he makes the first.
got this. We got this. And he makes both free throws. Here's Andrews. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Inside. And the basket by Bailey. Boy, how about the confidence? I love watching him be that assertive down low. And pin the blame on the defense there. You can't just give him an open layup. Now, here is Red. Last time out, he had 13 points. Here's Waters. Not going to go that time. Now the Jazz take it the other way. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was played down in Houston. I think the big thing for them is they've got to focus on taking care of the ball in this one. Something they didn't do the last time they played this team. As long as they avoid turnovers, they should be okay. But it's up to them to stay locked in on offense. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Shoots it up. And it's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Rivers can't get it to go. I love how he challenged the shot. That takes some guts near the hoop. From 11 feet away, and Utah again with the bucket. Tell you what, he looks laser focused out of the gate. Scary thought for the defense when he's locked in like that. And you worry about just how quickly he's working himself into a rhythm. Not what the D wants. Now, here is Red. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. Fields' shot is good. What a move. He saw a window on the other side of the rim and whipped it around for the immaculate reverse. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Here's Andrews. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Here's Roach. And again, it's Utah. And I like how versatile he is on offense. Capable of burning defenses in so many ways. Here's Waters. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Here's Fields. There he's it from about 10 feet away. Good offensive maneuver, resulting in a high-quality shot. Utah leading. Utah calls Utah. timeout. The coach now looking to make some adjustments. Yeah, so I like this timeout. Reset. Talk it over how you want to attack this game. Five lead changes already, partner, and this one's definitely going to be a battle. Here's Roach. 23 points his last outing. They set the pick. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Rivers. Passes it to Red. Here's Wright Foreman. Houston moving the ball around. Shot clock at five. It's right outside. Rebounded by Bailey. Bailey's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Roach. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark right now. He's averaging about 19 points a game. Here's Andrews. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Six points for him. Another lead change. Back and forth we go as neither team willing to back down after a bucket. And no matter which side you are cheering for, these are the games you love. Both teams fighting every step of the way. Now here is Red. Feeds it to Rivers. Rebounded by Bailey. Bailey's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Daniel. 
And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Utah. At the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Basket counts. Roach has got his second bucket of the night. It's simple. You got to get a body into your man. Box out if you want to rebound the ball. Defensive rebounding is about effort, trying, being willing to put a body on someone. Here's Water. Over the game. That's tipped. And they'll get another chance. Goes back up. Here's Bailey. Nick Daniel, the best to Andrews. Got a hand on it. Here's Red. The Rockets with another miss. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Here's McDaniel. He's coming off a 10-point game against Milwaukee. Here's Andrews. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Rockets trail by six. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Timeout called. The Rockets. for him. Fades away. Does not get it. Third miss. He's made four from the field. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Rivers kicks to red. Over to the left wing. Here's Water. Finds himself wide open and drills it. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. And the Jazz with possession. The Rockets making the shot. Here's Daniel. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And for Houston, they're shooting just 35% to start the game. Now, here is Red. shot so he'll get a chance at the line first personal foul second team first trip to the line for him here at the line for your Rockets Rivers two shots take a break take a break two shots Free throw drops for Rivers. Yeah, 
Second free throw, no good. The Jazz have gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Sanford. And they recover. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Rockets. Utah trailing here. the Jazz lead by one. Eight lead changes in the first half. Well, this is unbelievable. I agree, man. Unbelievable is right. Both sides digging in for what looks like a battle of immovable forces. Here's Dawson. He points his last outing. Tries it from the top of the key. Bibbs grabs the miss. Feet. The story of their offense so far has been just that, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Dawson, off target from three-point range. Jazz leading by three. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Personal foul. With the ball on the string, just getting anywhere he wants to go. Utah is shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And Utah making a change here. Hughes is checked in. Steel. Right now, Coach Vitello firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rivers. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Boy, and that'll give them a nice injection. Nothing like a rejection to get a team fired up. System from out there, especially when you give them room. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Their execution on offense was terrific. They found their rhythm and continued to ride that momentum. I just loved how relentless and aggressive they were. Looked to score as much as they could.
16 left here in the first quarter. There's a screen. The Rockets with another miss. Jazz leading by nine. He lobs it up. Well, they had a plan coming into this one, and they have executed on it perfectly. Yeah, getting out ahead early on by stifling the competition on both ends of the floor. To end the cold streak. Second chance shot, and he gets it to go. Winning play there. Saw the opportunity to take a second crack at it. There's 37 seconds left in the first. To the middle. And it's Rivers with the rebound. Rivers has got his fourth rebound in this one. Trails the baseline jumper. Terrific work off the inbound pass. Catching the defense off guard and going right up with the shot. Here's Bibbs. He gives a bit of a scoring lift to the team, averaging eight points a game. Fade away. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. He's got seven. He'll hit those if you leave that much room. He can do a better job of closing out. And so it's the Utah Jam. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Right back after this break. NBA action, a great tradition, Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? What stood out to me in that first quarter was their saran wrap defense. Yeah, they've got terrific focus on that end, making the effort to close out on shooters and stifle the offense. Red with the ball. He dishes it to Fields. Shot from 12. That's good on the jump shot. Fields has got six points. Jazz leading by seven. Here's Andrews. And again, it's Utah. So for the Jazz, their last game, a win against the Bucks. Waters passes to Fields. And out of bounds as the Jazz gains possession. Utah shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Andrews passes to Daniel. And that one is stuffed right through. Tell you what, if they're going to try to get back and even the score in this one, Playing soft defense like that is not the recipe. Oh, I agree. Yeah, there was a serious lack of rim protection on that play for sure. And for a coach, there's nothing more maddening than allowing wide open looks at the rim. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send them to the line than allow an easy layup. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Pass to Andrews. There's the pick. 
Pass to Roach. Just five to shoot. Knocks it loose. Waters passes to Red. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. You know, deflections are key. They're big in this league. You want to be disruptive to the other team's offense. Yeah, little tips like that, they can frustrate opponents. The Jazz making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. It's Fields on the wing. Just five on the clock. Step back and square to Fields. Fields has got four points now in the quarter. The defense was certainly a little tardy in reacting to the step back there. Here's McDaniel. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Andrews passes to Bibbs. Here's McDaniel. Passes it to Roach. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Roach has got six. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that. Will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Now, here is Fields. 38 points for him last game against Milwaukee. And he was also terrific defensively with four blocks on the game, which was a huge lift defensively for them. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Andrews passes to Bibb. And that one, good. And it's a 12-point Utah lead. You know, their offense has looked a little more tied together, more cohesive when compared to the opposition, which is why they're shooting a better percentage. Yeah, and give the coaching staff credit for how they are guiding this team. You can't even advise to run their plays. He forced the contact and almost converted the basket. About as close to an end one as you can get. For Houston, they have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Fields. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Jazz leading by 11. Roach passes to Andrews. For those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. The Rockets have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Deflects the pass. Here's McDaniel. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Andrews. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Jazz lead by 13. An absolute force on the glass. He was not going to be denied there. And the pass to right Foreman. And here is Red. The Rockets with another miss. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Over to the wing. Here's Daniel, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Shots making the defense look powerless. I mean, taking it right inside for the bucket there. They better be. It has not been a good performance for him at that end of the floor. The Jazz have shot three of five at the foul line. One shot. Free throw, no good. Rockets trail by 15. Here's Waters. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Here's 
Reds. Red sinks the 15-footer. Red's got his third basket of the night. For Utah, they've gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Din fields covering. Here's Daniel. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Pass to Red. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. And that Third was a foul. foul. No question about it. He deserved to go to the line after that hit. The Rockets have shot five of eight from the foul line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Bailey struck in for Utah. Free throws good from Red. Utah leading by 13. Pass to Andrews. To the paint. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Here's Waters. Now here is Red. Over McDaniel. Red misses. Chaz have gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Now Fields. Nine points in the game so far. Turning defense into offense. Yep, he had no doubt. Diddy Clark, he was going to take it all the way. Love the activity defensively. Leading to points. Here's Andrews. They lead by 11. Here's Daniel. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. Here's Waters. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Rockets have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. good as he hits both of his shots. Jazz leading by nine. Here's Andrews. He's got ten to the inside. Pass to Fields. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. He was absolutely lights out from the stripe in their last game. One after another, they were going in. Simply great free throw shooting. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Houston making a switch here. Rivers checked in. <laughs> and 
and he sinks the second. Utah with the ball. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jams. Looking to stop the bleeding and put an end to this run. Yeah, Coach wants to settle them down and get them organized. Out to the right wing. Drives to the hoop. And he lays it straight in. Nine points in the game so far. And, you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the league. So far, this hasn't been the case. Here's one. Now the pass to Fields. And he banks in the lane. Fields has got 12 in the game. This is clearly a man on fire. It was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. Pass to McDaniel. Here's Roach. Ball stolen. Red with the ball. Ten points for him. It's Fields on the wing. Good on the bucket. Fields has got ten points now just in this quarter. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. That's to Roach. Here's Waters. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Here's Daniel. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. And the Jazz lead by eight. Rockets have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Rivers gets a wide open look. And it's Houston with another. Coach Fratello, a big issue for them. I know it drives you crazy. Turnover. You just can't afford to give away anything in this league. Out to the right lane. the Jazz now. Six-point lead. Here's McDaniel. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. J.C. Hughes. Number 85. Not loose. And here is Red. Ten points for him. Passes to right Foreman. Galobe. The offensive rebound. Right Foreman, the pass to Rivers. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rivers. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Houston. They're fourth in the conference and looking to make a move the latter part of the season. And, of course, there's Utah. Just a few spots below there. Jazz leading by six. And the Jazz call time here. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Bailey had 22 points in the win against Milwaukee. And he was huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. Now here is Red. He's got 10. 
The 19-foot shot, and he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Red's got 12 in the game. Utah leading. It's tipped. Rivers, and he comes up with the deuce. Now, just a two-point Utah lead. Just too good a player to leave open. Out to the wing. Utah moving it around. They set the pick to stop the drought. Utah the rebound. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the way up. Bailey's got his second basket. Look at that work rate. Give him the second effort to get the score off the miss. One thirty-seven left in the first half. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for Utah, J.C. Hughes, taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Shots good from a strike. 135 left to play here in the second quarter. Over to the left wing. Now red. 12 points for him. And he finally drops after rolling around the rim. Reds has got 10 points in the quarter. Jazz leading by four. We've got 108 left to play in the first half. Pass to Bibbs. Now Hughes. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from 14. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Red. And again, the Rockets move for two. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. 39 seconds left here in the second. To the left side wing. Pass to Bibbs. Over Rivers. And that one's good, Bibbs. Bibbs has got 10 points. Taking full advantage of his height that time to get the shot off over the defense. And even if you're right on him, that's a difficult shot to contest. Down low. And finished off by Rivers. Way to set up the alley-oop. Oh, the catch and flush. If they can come all the way back, we'll remember that one. Hughes with the screen on red. For three. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Utah in front, they lead by a bucket. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's water. the right side. Utah foul. Rich. 
A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. It defeats. This is it to Waters. Red with the ball. Six to shoot. Rivers sets the pick for Red. Top of the key jumper, no good. Jazz shooting so far, very efficient. All around, about 55%. Here's the pass to Daniel. That's good. He's five for nine. Assist goes to. Rockets trail by four. Here's Waters. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Both to Utah. Utah leading by four. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Andrews. Again, the Jazz score. Rockets shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's Waters. And with the ball. And good. At the end of that time as it falls. Red's got 18 points. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Tries it from 19. And Utah again with the bucket. Assisted by Roach. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Pass to Ryan Foreman. Here's Fields. Rebounded by the Jazz. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Nick Daniel, the pass to Daniel. It's over Fields. Again, the Jazz score. When it comes to scoring the ball, he is prolific and proficient. It's Fields on the wing. Back to Red. To the wing on the left. Let's go. Waters can't get it to go. Couldn't have asked for a better look. A little frustration. He didn't get it to drop. Andrews passes to Daniel. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. And that was a foul. No question about it. He deserved to go the line into that hit. Looking at the stats, he's gone two of five at the free throw line tonight. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Waters passes to Red. Here's right Foreman. To the wing right side. And here's Rivers. He's got nine. Here's Andrews. Pass to Roach. 14 feet away. And that one's good. Andrews. 14 points for him.
Well, it's really hard to come back if you can't get stops. You've got to figure out a way to stop the bleeding if you're going to come back. And he looked very comfortable on that one. Not a lot of resistance. Here's Waters. Passes it to right Foreman. Now Red over McDaniel. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Andrews, and Utah again with the bucket. Coming out of halftime, they're on an absolute tear. And I don't know what was said in that locker Here's Dawson. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Can they get it? Buries the jump shot. Waters got six. Jazz leading by 12. Daniel fields covering. Here's Daniel, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Fifth personal foul, second and a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach the the Jazz. for the Jazz. Daniel taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls for him. The Rockets making a switch here. Red's checked in. And so he hits both. Rockets trail by 14. Rivers sets the pick for Red. Count that one. Red's got 20 points. And he's trying to carry this offense, but he can't do it alone. His guys need to help him. Here's Andrews. He's got 16. Here's Daniel. Another miss by Utah. For Houston, they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. The pass to Waters. Now, here is Red. He's got 20. Rivers trying to get open. And with that shot, the Jazz lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Red. 
Here's McDaniel. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pass to Bailey. Out left to the wing. Four on the shot clock. Here's Andrews. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. To the left wing. Now Red. He's got 22. That one drops for him. Red's got eight points here in this quarter. Utah leading by 10. Here's McDaniel. Bailey passes to McDaniel. To the left side wing. That's to Roach. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. For Utah, they have been shooting right around 75% of the line. 9 of 12 so far. At the line for two. Second free throw. Rockets trailed by 11. Here's Waters. He has six. From the high post, Red misses. Boy, that's a squandered opportunity there. One he'd like to have back for sure. Andrews passes to Bibb. Here's Daniel. Hits the jump hook. Daniel. Two points for him. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. It's Rivers on the wing. Dishes it to Red. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Here's Andrews. 18 points for him. Passes it to Daniel. Over red. No good off the back of the rim. The Rockets have gone just a bit under 50% for the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Here's Dawson. A jump hook, and that one good. Eight points for him. And that breakdown came from letting him get too deep. You need to do your work against him early. Get low, drive him out of his spot before he gets the ball and collects himself. Here's Roach. Seven points in the game. Here's Andrews. And soft on the front of the rim and drops. And the Jazz lead by 13. Rockets have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Rivers passes to Red. Inside. Bibbs grabs the miss. Bibbs has got five rebounds tonight. There's the lob to the hoop. Love that teamwork. Wasn't it beautiful? Nothing like a sweet alley-oop. Most importantly, they build on this lead. Timeout call for Rockets. You can see the coach very displeased with their defensive effort on the glass. They're giving up a bunch of second chance points. They got to get that corrected.
kicks Durant, takes the three. A rebound by the Jams. Roach has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Out left of the wing. Here's Andrews. Makes it off the glass. 22 points for him. Attacking the paint that time, unfazed by the bigger defender. Touch, angles, whatever it takes to elude the shot clock. Houston moving it around. And with the ball. 24 points for him. That one falls. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Bibbs the pass to Roche. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Back to Red. A three-pointer off the mark. Jazz leading by 15. And what a play! Just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Roach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. We've got 148 left to play in the third. Here's Andrews. The Rockets pull it in. And here is Red. 26 points for him. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Here's Andrews. Here's Red. Oh, my a devastating punch. They can't afford to give up a dunk like this when they're trying to come back. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there was a statement behind that dunk, one that says, uh, you aren't going to come back in this one, buddy. Yeah, that has to shake their confidence in their defense. Tough blow. Here's Dawson after the basket by Utah. Shot left block, and he connects with the jumper. He's been very consistent, but off of fewer attempts. His team needs a higher volume from him right now. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Woo-hoo! Gotta <laughs> love the alley-oop. Clark, wasn't that a pretty play? Oh, I could watch that all day. So much fun to watch. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Rebounded by Roach. Roach has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Hey, hey, balance it out. Here's Andrews. He's got 22. Good. Roach. Roach has got nine points now in just the second half. I really like how they've worked to get the best shot. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Showing great patience there. A total team effort in this regard. Everyone working together and being selfless on offense. to the wing. Here's Andrews. And the quarter ends with some slight wing defense right there. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Jazz lead by 17. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Jazz leading by 17. And there's the pass to Daniel. Set up, set up. And oh, the block shot crams it out of the air. Here's Waters. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Daniel, the pass to Roach. Oh, 
over to the left wing. Five to shoot. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. It's deflected. Now here's Rivers. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. A 15-footer. That one goes. Count it. He's got 24. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Waters passes to right foreman. Up top fields. Takes it from 10. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. More than pulling his weight offensively. I mean, he's ready and willing to step up when called upon. And they'll need him to continue filling it up if they want to take control. Dean count it from 12. And the Jazz lead by 17. How about the quarter from him? On a tear. Pass to Dawson. And here's Fields. Tipped. Out of bounds. Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. Rockets ball. Now into the lineup for the Jazz. Bailey. Marvin McDaniel. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Down to five on the shot clock. And Dawson kicks to Fields. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Fields has got four points in the quarter. Jazz leading by 15. Pass to McDaniel. Here's Daniel. Misses the three. The Rockets have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Right foreman, the pass to Fields. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for field. Utah leading by 13. Here's Roach. Passes it to Daniel. It's blocked. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rivers. Keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at five. It's rolled in by right foreman. It's trailed by 13. Waters passes to Dawson. He lobs it up. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Good on the triple. He's got 29 points. He doesn't need much room, and he had plenty right there. And when he's got that kind of space, you know he's knocking that three down. And they'll need more effort than that to cut this lead down to size. A baseline J. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Slick crossover move. The defense had no way of keeping up. And the pass to right foreman. 
Here's Fields. And it's Utah with the rebound. Roach has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Daniel. Here's Roach. Pass to Bailey. Out to the right wing. And again, it's Utah. Now a timeout called by Houston. The interior defense has been very subpar, and I bet their coach is letting them know about it. Allowing far too many points in the painted area, they need to put forth more of an effort defensively. Well, we have a chance now, a recap of one of the standout performances of our game, earning our player of the game. You know, honestly, I'm a bit in shock. I mean, he couldn't miss. Just look at this stat line. You got to really see it to believe it. Complete confidence and all out effort from him. And, you know, he made sure this was his night in spades. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Pass to McDaniel. Here's Roach. It, and he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. To the middle. Here's Fields, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Boy, I love that assertive finish. Yeah, he didn't want to let anyone think they could get in his way. Well, if the seeing that, I doubt the defense is all that eager to tangle with him around the rim. The pass to Roach. Jazz passing it around. Pass to Daniel. The tray. That shot off. And the Rockets take it the other way. Here's Waters. Here's Dawson. Trains the 19 foot With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Here's Bailey. From about 16, it's hauled in by Wright Foreman. Wright Foreman's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Like clockwork, extremely efficient, textbook alley -oop play right there. Yeah, you know this part. It takes a lot of athleticism to pull it off like that. Show you right. They just wish they could find that opening every trip down. Help close this gap. Rockets five. Rockets. And Utah making a change here. First team five. Now into the lineup for the Jazz. Here's Andrews. Pass to McDaniel. And he goes in for the top. Sending it right back with authority. He is such an asset court to his team on the glass. Wow. Yeah, keeping the ball out of enemy hands and making sure they finish the play strong. So it's the Rockets now after the basket by Utah. Here's Fields. Rebounded by Bailey. He'll normally convert on that finish. The defense got lucky. To the paint. Here's Roach. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Rivers has got his sixth rebound on the night. Over to the left wing. Here's Fields. Uses the glass that time. And it's good. Fields has got 14 points here in the second half. Jazz leading by 14. Here's Andrews. Passes it to McDaniel. Tries it from 19. Andrews, no good. Rockets have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Out to the wing. Here's Water. Now the pass to Dawson. Now here is Fields. Pocket six. Utah with the rebound. They led the game at one point by 20. Daniel, the pass. 
pass to Roach. They set the pick. Pass to Bailey. It's hauled in by Wright Foreman. It's trailed by 14. Now Fields. Waters passes to Wright Foreman. Fields with it. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Fourth personal foul, second team foul. At the line for your Rockets. Fields. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one falls for Fields. And both free throws good for Fields. Jazz leading by 12. Here's Andrews. Pass to McDaniel. Daniel Fields covering. Here's Daniel. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Fields. And so he's picked up his final foul. He will sit for the rest of this game. The Rockets making a switch here. Reds checked in. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. Rockets trailed by 14. The elbow jumper and drinks it. Red's got 28 points for the game. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Utah's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Roach passes to Andrews. Here's Roach. Passes to Daniel. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Bailey. From down in the low post, it goes. And the Jazz lead by 14. Good job chasing after the play, getting the rebound, and delivering a strong finish. And things are only going to get worse for the defense if they keep letting plays like that happen. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two Utah is shooting 40% in the fourth. Nick Daniel, the pass to Andrews. We've got 148 left in the fourth. The pass to Daniel. Just five on the clock. A 10-footer. A nice shot by McDaniel. McDaniel's got four points in the quarter. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Down low. There's the steal. Here's Andrews. Pass to Roach. Here's Andrews, on target from 13 feet. He's got 24. And you know, this will be a big victory for them. They came out and executed their game plan, and what a huge win for the Jazz. Mike, they were assertive on the interior, and that yielded an advantage in points in the paint, controlling the lane. Not settling for what the defense gave them. They attacked the paint time and again en route to the victory. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. Pass to Roach. Shoots from the baseline. And Utah again with the bucket.
They have shown up at just the right time, putting the finishing touches on this game. This run absolutely closes the door on any chance of a surprise ending. That'll do it. Now here's Rivers, back to Red. Passes it to Dawson. Another miss by Houston. Twenty-six seconds left in the game. McDaniel, the pass to Roach. There's the pass to Andrews. Here's Bailey, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Second personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the Jazz, Bailey. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. He hits both from the stripe. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. That's the end. It takes physical and mental toughness, Clark, to win on the road. Man, they teach. They sure did. And, you know, in terms of talent, there's just no comparison between these teams. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you next time.